My name's Steve, I'm an auto technician for Ironhead and uh, when the vehicles first come back to us into the country we add additions to them for the British market. The first things we do is we add additional amber lighting to the rear of the vehicle on both sides which is incorporated along with the original lighting which is at the top of the tank. So we operate this fire buttons on the back. We wire these in from the front of the unit so as that everything can be operated from the rear that can be the same as from the front. Uh, the other additions on the rear are a reversing camera which the monitor for is in the cab in the position of the rear view mirror. We also fit uh, two rear working lights for evenings and dark areas. That as we go around the outside of the vehicle, we fit additional work lights. Uh, there's four of those, two on both sides for uh, curbside work and for using tools. Uh, in the cab of the vehicle is a, uh, the same buttons as we fit on the back, so that they can control everything from the front in the centre of the dashboard, along with the reversing camera, which is fitted where the mirror would normally be. The other addition on the front is that we take the lining down and we put up amber beacons on the top of the uh, cab. Additional wiring is then added from the batteries on the other side of the vehicle across the pump assembly to the top, where we fit a 3,000 watt tin uh, inverter unit, which we run a 13 amp trip plug socket into the next cabinet. We run wiring through to the cupboard. In the second cupboard, we fit a uh, waterproof uh, double 13 amp socket, an LCD display to, for the controller of the inverter so that we can see what's happened with the battery capacities. Uh, on the other side we fit a warm water hand wash uh, which comes down and you've got a hot and cold supply. Uh, thank you for watching the short video. If there's anything else you need to know please contact Ryanair UK.